good early morning we're so glad you're here if you enjoyed this video make sure you come back tomorrow and every day after that it is early i got up so early because we're gonna have a day trip in florida let's do this And just like that, I got through security because it's 4.20 in the morning. Absolutely nobody is here. Which also means absolutely nothing is open. And I will be hungry very shortly. Plus, I just need a cup of joe, you know? Things are starting to open up and not everything. So I did the time-sensitive thing for food. And I got me a Monster and a Belvita and a wrap. Um, the two places that actually have, like, proper breakfast have like outrageously long lines so i'm just gonna grab this uh i board in just over 25 minutes i don't know if i'm gonna i have stanley tucci's book i don't know if i'm gonna read that or if i'm gonna sleep on the the plane I might sleep depending on what kind of seat i get because i think i only got like four hours last night um it's gonna be a long day because i don't i'm gonna end back in this airport in 12 6 18 something like 17 hours later I got my bag, got my book, time to start boarding this plane. Good morning! We have just dropped Evie off at the vet. She's going to be there all day because she has a dental procedure where she'll actually like go under anesthesia for. Um, and they just... One, they have to fit into the schedule, and two, they make sure she's like recovered and comes out all right. They, they keep her for a little bit. So, he's all dropped off. It's 7.15. We're all having really early mornings today, huh? seeing these I it's a toss-up if I'll get to go to property today or not I don't know but it makes me happy to see these and there is the famous NCO Christmas tree I gotta run down real quick to baggage claim my boss is here he's picking me up I don't know if we said it on the vlog the rest of my team does not know I'm I'm coming so it's supposed to be like a little surprise alrighty we are home and in honor of my mom's birthday today I am going to crack open a cold Pepsi not like I don't do that every day. Um, maybe I don't start 7.45 a.m. with Pepsi every day. Um, but it's just it's such a part of her that is a part of me and something that she loved that I love too. So today we are going to eat her favorite snacks, watch her favorite movies, all that good stuff. Um, with James not feeling well, our plans to go to the Museum of Science and Industry had to be put off, as well as going over to Christina's until um, Peter got home from the airport. So we're going to be home, um, but we'll still for sure make it special. Daisy, <laughs> did you, did the Christmas tree get you? I accidentally let his hair dry after it had been like combed back. Usually I do like a little front thing. He's got like, he's got a little faux hawk going on. You got a faux hawk? Look at his hair. Okay, you did eat your little bit of cookie. That makes me happy because it means your appetite's coming back. So we put on Cinderella, which is grandma's favorite Disney movie. Um, so we're gonna watch that. I did get an update on Eve. She's all done with her procedure. Um, she did need four teeth extracted, which was unexpected. She has had stinkier breath lately, so I assumed something had changed. Maybe she... You're giving me raspberries? Um, 
I was just hoping that a cleaning would do her teeth well, but there's two on top, one on the bottom, and then a molar that were loose that would have fallen out anyways, but they did have like pockets underneath them that showed disease eating away at her bone, um, which is not good. And so we had them removed so that it could all get um, closed off and so that hopefully it doesn't get any worse and then just continue the routine cleanings maybe even do some teeth brushing at home this is common with small breed dogs the doctor was like it might seem like a lot but sometimes dogs get like 10 to 12 teeth removed so um this is truly like she's like kind of an adult dog now and we just got to keep an eye on these things um her kidney level did remain elevated they retested her blood today and her thyroid looked low so uh, there's just like a couple of like normal health things that we're going to keep an eye on do more regular blood work the the kidney level is high the blood level but the actual analysis of her urine was fine he's not really sure why she's not having any of the symptoms like going through kidney disease um whatsoever or or the low, low thyroid so he said because she's appears to be in good health she's not lethargic she's just her evie happy self that we're just gonna like do more routine visits with her just to keep her healthy just to maintain what where she is at now um of course you don't like to ever hear any sort of anything <laughs> to worry about but i am happy that there is a plan of action and just supplements she can go on other things that we can just make sure we're doing so that it doesn't get to an, a level of concern. So I will probably go and get her at like four, which is in like three-ish hours. Um, and she'll just rest the rest of the day. She will have a couple of stitches that'll, um, what's the word? Dissolve? Um, but I know like from her like past experiences she's gonna be sleepy look at this my team got me a birthday cake love it and it was a mickey mouse all right we are leaving the party i'm waiting for an uber to bring me to disney springs so that's where we're going um meet up some, some friends maybe hang out there for an hour and a half two hours before i head over to the airport again but really fun time i got to meet my team probably about half the team for the first time in person not just a zoom call so that was very exciting and it's beautiful up florida standards of Christmas. All right, so if I'm being honest, the original plan was for us to go to Universal, but then it changed and we're going to Disney Springs. I might go to a resort. We'll see, but since I'm here and it's Christmas time, I gotta go, I gotta start off my trip to Disney Springs at the Christmas store before my friends meet up with me and they grab some food, maybe Earl's sandwich or something. We shall see, but I, don't have, I only have got, I've got about two hours. So it's like I could maximize all of Disney Springs or I could do like an hour here and then go to a resort, let's say like Wilderness Lodge maybe, to see the Christmas tree maybe. Oh wait, Sarah's face on me. Okay, so first up is the Christmas store. Look at these fun jeans. These are cool. I got Sarah the Mickey Mouse denim jeans last Christmas, but I feel like she would like those, but I feel like that would be something that we could have gotten earlier in the season not for a Christmas gift. We are here to pick up Eve at Wrigleyville Vet Center. We got her some wet food because she had a procedure. She needs soft food for two weeks. And then we're going to go home. Evie is home. She's just giving herself some love. We're going to be able to take off her bandage in two hours, but she's in good spirits. All right, I got a holiday sandwich, a Kona, and a Disney Springs Christmas tree. Ah, I love it. So I'm actually gonna try to look at uh, World of Disney really quick. So I'm gonna eat my holiday sandwich, head over to World of Disney, see um, for some last minute Christmas ideas. And I think I'm gonna hop on a bus over to Wilderness Lodge, you know? 
It is like four, just before, it's about 4.20. I'm gonna have to look at the travel times. I think my friends are gonna take me at six. Maybe a little later I can push it. My flight is at 8.45. It all kind of depends on traffic and security. Um, but I am by myself, so that should make security and everything go more quickly. Look at this sandwich. Look at this. Oh, yes. Sarah, James, I wish you were here with me so bad. You would, James would be loving this. I'd be beating him little pieces to him. In a, just a few weeks, just a few weeks, and we'll be enjoying this together. Oh my gosh, it's a Disney Christmas duck decoration. All right, quick trip. Now we're gonna walk over to World of Disney, scope it out, and then head to the bus stop. Okay, James is taking a little snooze. Evie, she wants my food, which is good that she has an appetite. She already ate her food, but you can't have any of this. I'm gonna eat in my room, just in case she barks and wakes up James. My mom, one of her favorite little things to snack on was just plain sour cream and chips. Like she just have it like upstairs on a weekend, just sneaky snacking on. So I got that. And then I got some chicken salad, which is totally her. She'd always make zesty chicken salads. We actually had talked about like opening a chicken salad restaurant one day, like, a little deli where she would like sell flowers. She was like an incredible like floral arrange arrangist. Um and we'd have this little deli like we it was just like one of the things like we talked about someday doing. Um and so I thought this was a nice easy dinner that I could just put together on our busy day. Um it was very her. That is a big old orange bird and a big old fifty. Resisting the urge to go wash my hands because of time limitations, but it looks like World of Disney has gotten rid of their like their one-way entrances and everything. It feels like pure chaos in here, but I have some Christmas gifts for Sarah in my hand, which has worked out great because I'm like so behind on Christmas shopping for Sarah. But this is gonna come in clutch, I hope. They're kind of things that she's not suspecting at all. So hopefully that comes in clutch. Now I'm gonna do some mobile checkout and see if that's gonna save me a bunch of time. And then we gotta head to the bus stop to go to Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> Some shopping has been completed. All right, 4.52, running over to the bus stop. I wish you could get in the sugar boo, but I just don't want to risk it. Check it out, boom. Love is love is love is love, right? Look at that Disney Plus tree. Oh, that looks like a cocoa tree, at least I see. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I held strong, I walked away from sugar boo. But for my video gaming friends, achievement unlocked. I saw my friend, he works at Fit to Run. Okay, now keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm running to the bus stop now to see how bad that wait is. I couldn't figure out how to do it on the app. I don't know if that's just a resort thing, um, but hopefully this is a quick, quick wait and a quick drive. And it's just gorgeous out here today. It's like not too hot. I'm sweating because I'm in jeans and long sleeve, running around like a baboon. But oh, I think I came the wrong way. Wait. Maybe not. Ah, absolutely gorgeous. I've made it to my favorite resort on property. But I will say, I don't know if this would be a good thing or bad thing, because I really wish my best friends were with me, but it smells like Christmas, looks like Christmas, and I love it. I'm gonna do a quick jump into <gasps> the Christmas tables out with like the hot chocolate and everything. I'm gonna jump into the gift shop, see if there's some Rice Krispies or something I can bring home for James and Sarah. And I think I'm just gonna relax, because I really only have like 20-ish minutes before I to get on the road to head to the airport, so. I'm gonna soak up as much as I can. Yeah. Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. Can't get better than that. All right, snackage acquired for James and Sarah. Come on, isn't this the best right here? With the deck, it's the best all the time, but now with the decorations. But I think to sit and relax for a few minutes, I think I might get me a cup of hot cocoa or something. This beautiful point center in this lobby. All right, so I have a hot cocoa. And I literally can sit here for eight minutes, I determined, before I have to 
Head on the road. This has got like a hint of peppermint in the hot cocoa. And uh, this is way more than I could have expected. I, I didn't think I'd actually have any time at all to leave my office to go uh, adventuring before my flight. So I'm very grateful and appreciative of this time. All right, I had to come out here and just look at it just for a second before I head out to the front. Get in the car to head back to the airport. It was quick. It was worth it. I can't wait to come back in a few weeks. Let me correct that, clarify that last statement. We will be back in a few weeks. I think it's three to be exact or four to be exact. I think it's three. We will not be staying here. We won't be staying at a Disney Resort. Uh, but we'll be back to Disney World having a lot of fun. All right, back at MCO. What a quick day. Well, I know it's a, what is it, a Wednesday? Tuesday? Tuesday at almost seven, but security waits is three to seven minutes. That's, I was so worried about security considering my flight this morning was that like security was through like four o'clock, but we're back at the Christmas tree. I'm gonna stop in the Magic of Disney store. Maybe stop in Universal just to get a, the vibe. Look at this. And then I'll hop into uh, security. So one of the goals of the week that we have of uh, Marathon Week, we didn't really get to hang out with the four beacons of magic. I mean, the most we saw was Cinderella Castle and Space Earth, but we're hoping to spend some more 50th anniversary time celebration, especially at that little thing right there. I'd like to point out that today is Sarah's mom's birthday, and I'm wearing a pair of her slacks in her honor. Happy birthday, Sue. See you next time, Monorail. Actually, we won't. We'll be driving next time. So see you sometime. All right, security was like crazy quick, even quicker this morning, but I'm at Cast and Larder, this like restaurant. I think there's one outside in Orlando somewhere. I have an IPA, I've got a burger and a salad coming my way before we board in like a little over an hour and 15. And here is my burger and side salad with the citrus balsamic dressing. It's a basic looking burger, but it looks mighty fine. All right, Orlando, it's been a fun and to eight, 10 hours, but I had to go home to my baby and my best friend and my puppy who had a procedure today that went great, but I'm still excited to see them all. Um, I think we have a slight delay here at boarding, but uh, we should be getting going any moment now. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna read or if I'm gonna sleep during this flight. We'll see. I may be in the last row, but I have it all to myself. Yeah. All right, there's the CTA station for the orange line. There's the parking lot I parked in. How I feel like it's like the most ultimate bittersweet thing to, to live right there. Like you live right next to the airport. Oh, you also live right next to the airport. That's awesome. Eleven ten. Turning onto my street now. I will say, I think I've. I'm getting used to seeing the value when I was purchasing this parking spot, even though it's a bit of a luxurious expense every month. I missed my family so much today. I'm very excited to just park and be home, but I'm fairly certain everyone's asleep. Sarah hasn't texted me back in since I got on the plane. And so hopefully that means they're all sleeping. James is still fighting his icky sickiness. So uh, I know today was a better day, but he still needs rest and was kind of clingy. Um, so I'm gonna park and get in and see what the deal is. <laughs> yep, um, I got in and it seems everybody's asleep, which is funny because that's how I left the apartment today was everybody was asleep, but somebody met me at the door. You had a big day at the doctor too. I'm proud of you. I missed you. I'm sorry I wasn't here for you. Oh gosh. I give it by the rubs. 
So with uh, with that, I think I'm just going to say for the family, uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>